tutorials for this year. This actually is my very first ever Halloween makeup tutorial and hair. Today I went for a feline glam. You can actually add to this makeup. You can add whiskers, you can add cheetah spots, tiger stripes, whatever it is. You can turn it into whatever you want. But I thought I'd go a little bit dramatic with a little bit of detail but also not so tough to where you can't get it at home. So I wanted to give you something super easy, super cute that you can wear to any costume party or just because. I don't really celebrate Halloween, but I do love a good costume party or just to kind of dress up for a little bit. So I wanted to give you an idea of something that you can do at home. I hope that you will enjoy this. This again is the first ever video that I've ever done with um, costume type makeup and I thought I did. it turned out pretty good, right? I do have a couple of more ideas that I will be bringing throughout this month, so stay tuned. And leave it in the comments section below. Let me know how you like it or if you have any other suggestions for me. I'm super excited and I hope you will enjoy the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Let's get to the tutorial and I hope you will enjoy. To save time, I've already filled in my brows and applied my primer, which is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm now camouflaging my dark circles because they are so pertinent using an LA Girl Concealer in the shade Orange. Over that, I'll apply my NYX Dark Circle Corrector in the shade Medium. This helps to camouflage and make my dark circles not so pertinent. As a foundation, I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 7.75 using my Morphe M439 brush to apply. After applying my foundation, I'm going over once more with the NYX Dark Circle Corrector just to make sure that my dark circles are well hidden. Using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral, I'm creating a upside down triangle and highlighting and then also going over the top lip. You'll see why because as I transform my face into my little feline look, I want to make sure that this area is very well highlighted. Now I'm going lighter and lighter as you can see under the eye. I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light Pale. This is to highlight this area and as you can see I normally wouldn't highlight this much but I'm already creating that feline look and highlighting my entire chin into kind of also like a triangle area and then making sure to make a little rounded out and then I'll blend everything out with my beauty sponge. Now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I'm going to contour my face somewhat similar to how I would normally contour except I'm going to make the cheek area go all the way up and meet the corner of my nostrils. Basically my contour is creating a curved carved out cheekbone just to also transform my face and then going around on the chin or lower jawbone I should say. 
using the pointed end of my Real Techniques blending sponge, I'm blending all of that contour in and making sure that it is well blended and seamless. Now I'm going to use this City Color Cosmetics color correcting powder using the darkest two shades. At first I was going to use the, just the darkest shade but it was a little too cool tone so I did go back in and mix a little bit of the lighter brown to warm it up just a bit. And I'm going over everywhere that I placed a contour just to make it more defined and more identifiable. To create my white fur look, I'll be using this Fantasy Makers Wet n Wild Painters Palette that I picked up at Target for $2.99. I'm only using the white shade, but first I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk to create a base, that way I don't have to work so hard applying the paint. Then I'll go over that using the paint in a foundation brush. And as you can see, I'm carving out, making like the area above my lip a little rounded and then going in and highlighting using the white paint in the center of my chin to make it a little stronger. So that it stays in place, I'm using my ring finger to blend it all out and make it a little more seamless. Using the white shade from my Lorac Pro palette, I'll be setting the white paint with the Morphe M438 brush. And this ended up taking a little longer. I'm using padding motions to set it because I don't want the paint to move around, but I ended up going in with another blending sponge and it made it go a lot faster for me. To set the rest of my foundation and makeup, I'm using my NYC Smooth Skin Setting Translucent Powder to make sure that I have a matte finish. To begin carving out my nose and really most of my face, I'm using this brown shade from the Morphe 35N palette. And the brush that I'm using is the Morphe M208. I'm going to make this go on the wider portion of the center of my nose and then I will begin to blend it into the crease of my eye. To help thin out the line and drag it into my crease, I'm using my Morphe 167. Then I'll follow up using the Morphe 503 to blend it into the eye. I want to make sure that it's blended well and is not as harsh. This helps my eyes to look a little more feline-like and sunken in. Then I'll blend that same brush on the sides of my nose, just kind of shading it in using that same color. Using my Morphe E3 brush, I'm just shading in the temples using that same eyeshadow, building it up, making it look a little more in depth and have kind of that feline temple, if you will. And following up again with the same shade, using my Morphe M501, connecting the contour from my cheek to my nose, which also helps to define and carve out the white areas where I've created fur. And another once over around the perimeter of my face to intensify the contour. I did one eye off camera and now I'll take you through to show you how to get the other eye done on camera. I'm going in using the shade Coco Bear by Makeup Geek and using a pencil brush from Coastal Scents to apply this to the crease. I want to warm it up. This also helps to add a little bit of dimension to the shading on my eye. Then I'll follow up using the Morphe M433 to blend it in and then also kind of flick it out towards the tail of my eyebrow. Now I'm going in to add a little more dimension using the shade Mocha also from Makeup Geek and my Morphe M169 brush to apply it and make the crease look a little more defined. I'll follow the same shading that I did with Coco Bear and flick it out towards the end or tail of my eyebrow. Then I'll go back in and make sure that it is all well blended. To add a little more drama and depth to the eye, I'm adding Corrupt by Makeup Geek using my M321 Morphe brush. I'm going to create an outer V in the outer corner of my eye and then drag it over into the crease just to make it look again more in depth and add some drama to the look. I'll continue to blend it and make sure that it flicks out not as far as Coco Bear but just kind of flick it out and blend it in well. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, I will be using this Be A Bombshell Cosmetics Highlighting Crayon and fill in the blank space underneath the black and corrupt on the lower part of my lid. Because that pencil or crayon was not as opaque as I would have liked, I'm now going to go over and fill it in with NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. Then I'll set it using the lightest shade in my Morphe 35N palette. To follow that up, I'm going back in with Mocha and Corrupt mixed together just to go back in and define that darker line to add definition to the crease. Then I'll follow up and blend that all out so that it looks a little more seamless. To intensify and then also carve out my nose a little bit more and drag it in, I'm going back in with that same brown eyeshadow from the 35N palette using the Morphe M208. Then I'll follow that up with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and blend it into the beginning of my brow. And then to help blend out the shading on the side of my nose, I use the Morphe M173. To create my wing, I'm using my Sigma E06 brush and my Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the shade 77. To really give me that dramatic feline eye, I'm using this Physicians Formula Eyeliner Marker to start at the corner of my eye and connect it to the wing that I created. I did go slightly outside of the corner of my eye as you will see. Now to uncurl my lashes, I'm using this eyebrow or eyelash spoolie and applying these Eyelore number 126 lashes. These are some of my favorite lashes. I use them all the time. To tight line the upper lid of my eye, I used an eyeliner cold pencil from Rimmel London in the shade black. And to tight line the waterline, I used a nude Rimmel London. And as always, I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic for my lower lashes, then following up with my Maybelline. I realized that I got happy and I skipped a step, so I'm taking that same eyeshadow that we've been using all over the face from the Morphe 35N palette and creating a second waterline. I'm starting from the edge of my eye and then flicking out the corner to connect to my nose contour. Then I'll follow that up with the shade Coco Bear and smoke out the lower lash line. Then of course I messed up my lashes so I had to go back in and re-intensify them. To make them look a little more thick, I decided to go in with that Physicians Formula Eyeliner Marker and create some small flecks underneath the lashes just to add some more depth. Now I'll take that same shade and a flat defining brush and create a line across the lower portion of my nose and then I'll take that brown shade to act kind of as a paint, if you will, or a base. And then I'll paint all over my nose with it. And then I'll follow up with the shade Bitten from Makeup Geek, which is an eyeshadow, just to add a little bit of pinky tone to it. Because Bitten was a little too red or too pinky for me, I decided to go over that with the shade Mocha, just to add a little more brown depth to it. However, I don't regret using Bitten because it did just kind of add a little more personality to the nose. To define the nose, I'm taking my Kat Von D eyeliner in the shade Trooper, which is an eyeliner marker, which is a matte finish. Um, you'll see me on camera only hi highlighting or tracing in the top portion, but I did decide off camera to go ahead and um, go over the full bottom half of my nose. And then now I'm taking some eyeshadow just to go in and shade around the nose to make it look a little more standout-ish, if you will. Then, of course, I took a little bit of eyeshadow on my finger and slightly went down my cupid's bow to make it look a little more defined. Then I'm going back in with my 3D HD Precision Brush from Sigma and applying a little more of the white eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro palette to make it look a little more round. Then I tried a couple of different brown um, eyeliner pencils to create my spots but they weren't pigmented enough. 
so I just gave up and went in with my um, eyeliner and just created some dots by itself now taking this wet n wild eye, um, eyeliner pencil in the shade Sema, I believe it is to trace out my lips and create a a cute little line if you will to make them look more like little kitty lips then I'll blend it out using my finger I did find myself wishing that I would have kept going with the brown um, eyeliner just because as you can see on the one side it my little spots have a little more dimension so I do think that's a cute little detail so now let's get to the hair I actually had my hair braided back in three sections and curled at the ends and now I will just take them down and get that stretch curly wavy lion's mane look once i have it all fluffed out i'm taking some coconut oil just to add shine and moisture to my hair and applying it all over and also to my scalp and just kind of massaging my scalp to create volume and then i'll begin to separate i don't want a whole bunch of definition that was country, but I, anyway, I don't want a lot of definition um, in my hair, but just a slight wave to it. And now taking an Afro pick to fluff out the root of my hair and make it stand up a little more. Then I'll apply some edge control to my edges. I'm actually using the Myel Organics um, Edge Flexible Hold Edge Gel. And actually to apply the braids of my hair, I use the avocado hair milk. Once it's fluffed, I can add my cute little cat ears that I picked up for only $4.99 from Rue 21. And this is the final look. Oh, and I forgot, I just couldn't, I couldn't leave it. So I added a little bit of Becca Moonstone highlighter to the bridge of my nose, um, my brow bone, and my forehead. And now this is the final look. I hope you love it as much as I do. So I paired the look just to glam it up a little bit with a necklace that I picked up from Rue 21. Also my kitty ears came from Rue 21 and they were only $4.99 as well as some cute little stone um, earrings that I picked up. They kind of look like some little fake diamonds but I just love the whole glam because the earrings match my headband and I love love loved it. I hope you did too. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you think of the look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.